Hey, hi, in this video, we're gonna see how to use Docker Compose to host multi container application on Docker desktop. So, here I'm gonna use Docker desktop as a prerequisite, and we're gonna see that you know how to construct Docker Compose, which actually creates a multi container applications, right? So, here we will see that you know how to write and Docker Compose YAML file with using the temper file, we're gonna reference a Docker file which actually defines you know how your image has to be created and then with using the docker file we're gonna see that you know how we can create multiple containers working together to you know to to work as an all together an application right or in general so how to host a microservices with using docker composer okay so in general it looks like that right so here we know that you know with using the Kubernetes specification file, we can map multiple containers talking to each other, right? Now, in the another side, we also have a technology called Docker Compose. With using that, you know, you can define, you know, multiple containers talking to each other and acting as a microservices. Okay. So that's the main aim of this video. So as you see in this, uh, you know, the design, right? So here we will have a, a, you know, a, a Docker Compose file, which I'm going to walk you through that and we will be helping you how to construct the Docker Compose file. And then we're going to see that, you know, with using that, how to create a multi container application here. Okay. So with that note, what I do is I'm going to take you to the, my VS code. So this is my VS code where I have already created a project. Uh, that is basically an example application. Um, right. So before I go to this application, how did I construct and how did I set up? Prerequisite here is you know make sure that you have a Docker desktop like this. Okay, so you can install the Docker desktop according to your OS. My OS is, is here is is Windows, which actually you know after installing this Docker desktop, it actually installs the Docker daemon. With using that, you know I'm can I can run the Docker commands and also run the Docker compose commands as well. Right, that's the prerequisite. Now without being late, I will take you to the my project. So here I have created a folder called Docker compose. I'm gonna share this files and folders of this particular demo in the in the video's description where i will share my github link through which you can download and use it from your side right so this is basically an example python flask application here as you see that is you know pycash a file has been created so here we have a project called docker compose in that one i have an example index.html file so this is very basic index.html file which actually shows uh, you know, a uh, 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 HTML file with a message called this is a Docker Compose application. And this is the, you know, the front end file, which actually dynamically changes the color. That is the background color. Okay. Now we will run this HTML file on, on Python Flask. So here, as you see, we have a app.pi file. So which where, you know, we have uh, imported a Flask module and then imported the random module. And here we are using the radish. Okay. So here I have two container image in the sense I'm going to create a two container image. One is acting as a Python flask application. The other one is a reddish application in the sense. So here I have a two container talking to each other. That is my Python flask application will talk to the container called reddish and try to do the functionality. So here functionality is that we are creating an web application, which actually dynamically talks to the another container that is reddish okay so here how did i write that logic is so i got this file from the internet so i'm using that so here as you see you know i have uh, application flask application being created called app and we also creating an instance of reddish that is uh, you know uh, that is reddish equal to uh, i mean the host number is, is reddish and then the port name is is 6379 yeah and then if i go down and walk you through this code basically so this is generic a python flask application code so here we have a route that is the you know the root route here so underneath the root route basically it actually calls index uh, you know function in the index function so basically we are generating a, a random uh, you know the random uh, string out of these characters right so and this character is basically defines a color image in the html page now we are checking a method if method is is a post then we are calling a redis function called increment which actually increments some property in the HTML file, which I'm going to show you that. And if it is not a post method, basically, you know, it could be a get method as well. So in that case, it is actually getting a, the value of the click as well. That is value of the field clicks. Okay. And then 
so if i go to the html file so here you see that you know um, so here we have uh, a input file called change color okay so that is the you know the input file so basically this will be listened in the sense listened here in the in this file in the sense it's basically we are clicking you know redish dot get you know so in the sense the redish is a a cache db which actually keeps on you know checking the whatever transaction happening on your web application it keeps the memory of that okay that's what it is happening here now below this is very easy that is clicks is equal to null none in the sense you are actually marking it as a zero so basically it just counts the number of click in the sense we will see that and how does it looks finally it actually renders you know the 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 html file that is from the template file all right and in the bottom we are actually declaring the main function and then that main function will be listening on port number 5000 that's what it is yeah so this is a very experimental how the docker compose application you know how the docker compose feature helps us to run the multi container application which is actually acting as a microservices okay now with that with this is the you know our one example you know the container definition are consider this app.py as your source code and this source code can be wrapped as an application or wrapped as a docker file and docker file with using the docker file you can create a container now this is the one one part of the source code so here what did we see is we saw we have a python flask in that one i have uh, you know uh, written an example application and we also walked through the app.py file now let's go to the you know the important file that is docker hyphen compose.yaml file so remember that docker compose is nothing but as i said it is a feature underneath the docker through which you can run a multi container application in in one shot right so in the traditional days you were you were aware that you know with using the docker build and docker run you can actually run an example container application that is one container application can be run with using docker run and docker build and docker run right basically when you run docker run it actually runs one container image application in the in the in the docker desktop maybe so i am using docker desktop so i am using that but it depends okay we, you know os to os right now in docker compose it is one step ahead where you can run multiple docker container applications in one go so that feature is been provided by docker compose so docker compose can be written in the form of an yaml file right like this so if you can try to compare this with the kubernetes specification file or kubernetes deployment file it is exactly same like this yeah so here as you see you know the 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 docker compose file has its own naming convention make sure that your docker compose file starts with docker hyphen compose dot yaml file that is dot y y l so something like docker file right so you need to write here it is an yaml specification file but the name of the docker yaml docker compose should be in this format yeah and content of this docker compose is something like this that is it has an version and then within that version we are actually you know creating a service so here our application right this is the application one application has multiple services or consider you know multiple container container applications you know microservices and when you when you combine these microservices basically you know it is acting as an applications right so likewise we are binding services you know basically with using the services as a tag we are binding multiple microservices consider like that yeah so here the first microservice is you know flask app in the sense in my case i have written that app.pa file and index.html file that is consider that is one part of the microservice right and then you need to also need so in the sense to make that front end to work you also need a back end that is redish right so here we are also having another microservice called redish okay so you can also define like you know which the microservice will be listening on which port as well so here flask app is you know basically we are building the flask app by doing this docker file right in the sense you need to build that image as well right so you can do that and then this microservice will be listening on this port and it actually will be built post redis image is been built okay something like this so here we have a another you know the the, the service or or called as a microservice so this microservice is basically you know being been fetched from this that is redis dot latest and it will be listening on the port number okay so what is happening here is so you, we have one microservice called flask app and we have another microservice called called redis okay so that is multi containers we have a two containers being defined here 
and these two containers applications are bind to talk to each other now we go to the another step so here basically you know we have a docker file in the docker file basically it actually um, you know so, so here it is normal and example docker file which actually wraps my application that is my python flask application as a as a container image okay so so as you might be aware that so docker file starts with the name like dcaps docker file no extension okay so and with this name automatically if you have installed the docker demand the file will be getting recognized as a docker file now this file contains you know certain commands which actually you know defines like how your application has to be wrapped into a container image okay so like this so basically you are pulling the you know the 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 slim bluster you know basically you are using this image to construct your container image right uh, so basically you are using this foundational image and and making it as a container image of your application now in this one we are actually uh, you know doing a cd to this app path and being from that path basically uh, you know you are actually copying the uh, requirement.txt file into a requirement.txt file then after that it has been copied you are actually doing the you know the requirement.txt file being executed or basically you are installing the prerequisites and then whatever the content whatever the you know the, whatever the files and folders present underneath this uh, you know the file will be copied in the sense that see that you see that copy command will copy all the contents or the file folders present underneath that okay and then finally we have a command in the sense at the end what should the docker file should be doing right so that is what in the sense it always has to run app.pi file that's simple it is okay so that's what this docker file is defining right so likewise as i said you know we have uh, uh, you know requirement.txt file that is defining a flask reddish and i know then then we are using this uh, you know to work jig you know basically these are all the python modules which is needed for my application okay now without being delayed what i do is you know i'm going to take you to the my readme.md file so in the readme.md file i have uh, defined certain things that is you know what are all the com you know come you know the commands that you can run to build a docker compose application right so you see that first one is docker compose in the sense in earlier days we used to do docker right so if you see docker run docker build okay so now something has changed in, in docker compose you need to use docker hyphen compose but but here you know we are not pointing to something but here we are pointing to a a specification file okay so first let's run um first let's run this uh, oh, sorry so first one we will run this file by passing the command called down build and up so down means it is cleans up if anything is you know running currently build means it actually mean for building a docker image so here it will build a docker compose image and then finally docker up is nothing but you are actually running that composed image like that yeah so let's run first the 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 docker compose down command so here docker compose hyphen docker compose.yaml file so make sure that you know you are in the path where your docker compose.yaml file is present okay and then only this command will be working now i will hit enter and as of now i don't have any image if i go to the docker demand or if i go to the docker desktop you see that it does not have any container it does not have any image now we go and run the next command that is actually building the the docker compose right so docker compose could be built with using the command called docker hyphen compose have uh, hyphen f is nothing but file in the sense it has to point to a file called docker compose.yaml file and then you are passing the parameter called build which actually builds a docker compose file so as the name says compose it actually creates you know uh, creates a you know the the, uh, the container image that is composed of multiple microservices like that okay since i have already built this image previously so it has taken very less time and you see that it is running okay so if i go to the uh, uh, to the to the docker desktop and go to the images you see that you know the the, the image that is composed image is now built right so basically it contains the you know this image is actually contains the two kind of you know uh, the, the docker image okay so un under the hood you know you are actually running multiple container applications with using this composed image yeah now let's go to the next command that is basically you know the run command called docker you know so docker uh, uh, compose up so this time we need to run an additional parameter called up that is docker compose hyphen docker compose yaml file hyphen f docker compose yaml file and then click on app right so if you see here currently what is happening is it actually pulling the image um, from the from the docker hub that is from the local docker hub and trying to run a container image now now remember here we are running com docker compose image which is actually kind of what i can say you know the 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 wrapper of two containers right 
and once this you know the the, the docker compose container runs we should be able to see that you know the the you know the multiple containers are talking to each other and running as expected okay now you see that you know this is built you know this is basically docker compose hyphen docker hyphen you know so hyphen file docker compose dot yaml file for slash you know up basically this is very straightforward command which actually makes your application running now you see that you know it has started the application in the sense of our docker compose application is now running now we can go ahead and explore this service okay that's what it means while that also running i'm going to go back to the docker desktop and show you that you know if you go to the containers you see that you know we have the container called docker compose and that docker compose is actually constituted of two images containing flask app and the ready shop okay so basically in the sense you know two microservices are now being being you know being uh, being composed as a single application like that yeah now yeah so so if i now what we can do is we try to access the service from the endpoint which is shared here right so if i can browse this now from the our browser so let's go back to the browser and try to hit this right so we should be able to access our our front end page so currently it is accessing if i go back to this one yeah so maybe yeah maybe here that is a local container yeah i'm going to close it off and try to open it again we should be able to see this is you know instead of this you can also say like local host so it will be working like this yeah so that is local host five something like that. here you go right so our application is listening on local host okay now so this application or you can try to access from either either here right so click on this uh, url that is click on this one it will take you to the default browser my default browser is is uh, is this one that is micro you know microsoft edge browser now you see that application is working and there is a button called change colors if i click on changing color what happening is you know in the back end this container is talking to the redis container getting the value and, and you know you see that you know value of below number that is color change number is basically driven by or or been returned from the cache okay and and the application is working fine all right so basically what did i show you here in this demo is that with using the docker compose you know we can host multi container application in the local or you know we can also host this in the in the in the proper hosting environment as well but for now this is to make you understand that you know with using the docker compose how we can build you know multi container application and do a testing like this okay all right basically it is actually mimicking the you know the microservices hosting environment all right so with that note being said you know i have successfully showed you the things need to be shown in this video finally i can't request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video